John and Michelle, Glenn Guanavanaki was sentenced in 2010. Prosecutors say he abused his victim for years. Now she is speaking out, hoping to help other abuse victims come forward and to know they're not alone. He started touching me. He started, like, undressing me. And I, like, I tried to grab him, like, try to grab his hand to put, like, no. And I kept saying, no, Dad, no. What are you doing? And... He was saying, no, you're safe, you're safe. I love you. Kamiley, now 18 years old, with her abuser locked away, finds hope in sharing her story. You sure? About the abuse she suffered at the hands of her adoptive father. It started when I was maybe three months away from my seventh birthday. His famous words were, I was doing this because I love you. She has a purpose in sharing to encourage children who are being abused to speak up. If they are in that situation. I want them to know that there are people that know, that understand. And to be honest, I want them to know that they're a survivor. And that oh, you have to tell somebody. Because Kamiley kept it a secret for too long. Seven and a half years. Canyon County Deputy Prosecuting Attorney Erica Callen says stories like Miley's are far too common. Three years is the average time from the chi time the child is offended on until the child actually comes forward and tells. Reasons children hide abuse share a common thread. The abuser is someone they trust or their parents trust. As a parent, we don't leave our kids with people we don't trust. It's always somebody that's trusted. For Kamiley, it was the person she was supposed to trust the most. He would do anything to be alone with me. He'd do it in cars. And if I would refuse, I'd kick him a few times. And he'd slap me or he'd punch me. He'd grab my hair. He'd hit my head against something. Sharing seems to be working because watching us talk is 15-year-old Leona, whose abuser, her stepfather, pleaded guilty and is awaiting sentencing. Yeah, kind of inspired me. The shy teenager says she's also ready to share. I was scared to tell. Both these girls kept the secret because of guilt, fear, shame. I did. I felt like it was my fault. There was times where I wanted to tell, like my family. I, I was, but every time I just like go back and like didn't want to. Why? Why didn't you want to? I was scared. He. If thinking he'd like do something to my brothers and sisters and his daughters or my mom. The biggest thing that I recommend to parents is simply talk to your child. Tell your child. Talk to your child about good touch and bad touch and explain to them that if someone touches them that they need to come and tell even if they're told that something bad is going to happen. Today Kamiley is working to heal. I was pretty broken. And she has a message for Leona and others who are hurting. I will not let my past reflect on my future. That's beautiful. Did that take a long time to learn? It did. I live every day to help somebody because I know for a fact there are little girls still going through that in their life. And I just want to find a way to get it out there. And let them know that they're not alone, that the best thing to do is not feel like you're the bad person, because no, you're not the bad person. One common theme in abuse stories is that the abuser puts himself in a position of trust to gain that trust from both parents and the victim. It's referred to as grooming the victim. Tomorrow we'll learn signs of grooming and how to pinpoint these signs in children who might be suffering. In studio, Lauren Johnson, today's six on your side.